got is 14 a factor no 15 is a factor yes of course 16 is a factor no 17 no 18 no is 19 a factor of 120 no 20 is a factor yeah don't forget 15 times 8 right 20 times 6 aside 20 is 21 a factor no 22 is a factor no 23 no 24 yeah it's a factor 24 times 5 so you've shortlisted just few factors that fall within 14 and 24 and the next thing will be which of them can give us 19 when you multiply to, and, and we multiply to get minus 120 that's this one this one because 24 minus 5 will give us 19 so the answer is 24 plus 24 and minus 5 so that's how to quickly get that so it has to be within a range quickly do you get that do you want another example you want another example okay x squared 48 and you've got plus 19x again what are the factors of 48 we've got one we've got two you've got three you've got four yeah you've got six you've got uh, 12 I mean there's so many but you don't need to go all that all that far we're also going to be looking at between 14 and 24 okay from 14 to 24 what are the values that are factors of 48 is 14 a factor no 15 no 16 yeah 16 is a factor that's 16 times 3 isn't it 17 is it a factor no 18 no 19 no 20 no 21 no 22 no 23 no 24 yeah 24 times 2 right so these are the factors of 48 16 times 3 24 times 2 which of these can give us 19 when you add them up 16 plus 3 yeah so 16 and 3 plus and plus we'll multiply to give you 48 and we'll add up to give you 19 now irrespective of the question this always works there are times this will tell you because when you take out 5 for example if you had x squared plus 2x plus 1 you take out 5 you get a zero you get a negative just keep your limit at zero because we're looking at positive values isn't it zero and when you add five to it if you get more than ac clip it at ac all right there is no need explaining further because uh, if it's actually small values you can quickly bring up the options you've got but when it becomes 120 5000 could really be cumbersome so all you need to do is add five to this subtract five from this and that gives you your margin within which to look for your factors that will have that will add up to give you this so um time is fast spent i'd just like to do a little bit of uh simplification for you guys again before we go um Um, let me see. Do we? Uh, yeah, very good. I remember now. Change of subject formula. So let's look at equations. What are equations? We've been looking at expressions all the while. Now it's time to look at equations. The only difference between an equation and expression is that an expression is just one cumbersome representation of x and y and a and b with a plus or minus in between them. But an equation has got an equality sign so the most important thing is that there is an equal to sign in an equation for instance 2x plus 3y is equal to 4x plus 2y this is an equation because of the equality sign so you've got a left hand side and a right hand side okay the left hand side and the right hand side now each of them are expressions, but the equality sign there makes the whole of this an equation. So you can have 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 equals to 0, another equation, because there's an equality sign here. And usually, when we've got an equation, 
our job is to find the